Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to take a moment again because I was reading my Bible. I've been getting led to First John for the past probably two and a half weeks. So I've been reading all of John in chapter 11, verses 25, 26, and even verse 41 just spoke to me because last night at um, evening service at church, I went and the pastor in his sermon said that he could not relate to Abraham in regards to him going up to go kill his son, giving, um, having been told that by the Lord, by, um, uh, by God to do that. He said he couldn't, he don't know if he could have done that. And then he, he asked the question, could you, and at this particular Sunday, on this particular Sunday, I'm sitting at the very back which I don't normally do, but I'm sitting at the very back and I'm seeing a bunch of heads go like this. Go like this. Now, who I am in Christ, I could absolutely do that. <laughs> I could absolutely relate and I could absolutely be obedient. And I was reading John, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26, and it says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Now, Jesus was talking to Mary before he brought Lazarus back to life, having been dead four days. This is what this is talking about. This is what this is talking about. But again, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, shall he, yet shall he live. And it says, whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And in verse 41, he says, Jesus says, if thou shalt believe, thou shalt see the glory of God. This speaks volumes of where we are in our belief and our faith. A lot of a lot of Christians and even the pastor say, teaches and preaches and speaks, we gotta have faith. We have a prayer list where they they add names, believing the Lord is the great physician, believing him to, you know, make a way out of no way. And they are always verbally talking about faith, faith, having faith in our Lord Jesus, having faith in our Lord Jesus that he'll bring the rain. But when it comes to a certain part in the Bible where Abraham was told by God to go up and basically slay his son, they said they could not relate. And it's because they are coming about it through the flesh. All they're thinking about is having to kill their son, the, the act. And as a parent, I totally get that. I totally can relate because I am a parent. But this is a prime example of us putting people before the, lo the Lord, loving them more than we love the Lord. We've got to put him first and foremost. If the Lord tells you to do something, even something that you don't want to do, you do it. And this is, this is, a prime example of what's going to happen in the future when many become martyred. They're going to lose their faith. They're going to lose their faith because they forget death is only the trick to scare you, to get you not to die. But if we are truly believers in Christ, we shall live. We shall live because I say all the time, I would gladly get beheaded. I would gladly die for my Lord and Savior because it's a win-win. I get to go home. I'm ready to go home. Death does not not scare me. If there was, I would, I would, I would step up to die for my Lord and Savior. It would be an honor to do that because I love Him. I love Him. He's more powerful than my fear or what my my fleshy, carnal mind is telling me in regards to you know taking out or slaying my son. You gotta believe that the Lord knows best. You gotta believe that the Lord way is perfect. And whatever he tells you to do, you gotta obey. And a lot of people don't have faith. They speak it to their blue in the face, but they don't have faith at all. You can't preach and teach half about faith and then say you can't relate to Abraham. It shows a lack of faith. And I just saw his doing this. It's because you're putting your family before God. Are you willing, are you absolutely telling me that you could be disobedient and not do what the Lord tells you to do? Because you're thinking about it from a carnal mindset. And a lot of people are operating like this. A lot of people are, are operating like this. Guys, 
Let me know in the comment section. Could you do what Abraham was going to do to his son? Could you be faithful to God to just simply obey? Or could you not do it because you just you couldn't do it, you couldn't do it? And a lot of people in the end, it's probably going to come to a choice where choose your loved one or denounce your faith. And what are you going to do? Because Abraham, he was so righteous. He was a man of faith. He was willing to do it because he trusted and believed and served and loved God loved God so much so much and he put him before everything even his son enough to simply obey what the Lord wanted him to do even though he didn't carry it out it was a test it was a test to see if he was going to do it and because he was obedient because he was a man of faith because he was so righteous he was willing to do it how many of us are willing to do it to be obedient to say, whatever, Lord, your will be done. How many of us are willing to get over our carnal flesh, our carnal mind of what our logic is telling us and just simply be obedient?